Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the Supreme Judicial Council Vice President and Court of Cassation President Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Constitutional Court President Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan Ahmed Al Bainin following the issuance of royal orders appointing them to their new posts. His Majesty the King affirmed his keenness to consolidate the independence of the judiciary as well as support the judicial branch and provide it with qualified competencies given the major role it plays in protecting rights and enhancing the security and stability of the Bahraini society. يتفضل معالي الشيخ خالد بن علي آل خليفة لأداء القسم نائبا للرئيس المجلس الأعلى للقضاء ورئيس محكمة التمييز أقسم بالله العظيم أن أحكم بين الناس بالعدل وأن أحترم قوانين المملكة ونظمها His Majesty the King expressed pride in the deep-rooted history of the Kingdom's judiciary as well as the pioneering achievements it continues to attain being essential for achieving the aspired for justice. His Majesty the King congratulated Sheikh Khalid bin Ali and Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan on their new posts, wishing them success in serving the nation and citizens, as well as undertaking the tasks entrusted to them. He also thanked them for the valuable contribution they had made while holding their previous posts as well as for their service to the Bahraini judiciary. His Majesty commended the dedicated efforts exerted by the members of the judicial branch in the kingdom to protect and preserve the rights of citizens and residents by defending them in accordance with the law and constitution. His Majesty the King praised the continuous development of the judicial branch and its legislative structure, stressing the King's unwavering keenness to develop its various institutions in order to keep pace with all changes while enhancing the efficiency of the judicial system and consolidating the rule of law. His Majesty the King affirmed that the comprehensive development process will continue as well as the result of solidarity of the three branches and their cooperation in order to bring about more national achievements and gains. For their part, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali and Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan extended deepest thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his precious trust in them, highly valuing the constant royal support for the judicial branch. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud. The Saudi Foreign Minister is on a visit to Bahrain to chair his country's side of the Political Coordination Committee emanating from the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council. The Minister conveyed to His Majesty the King greetings and appreciation from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, as well as their wishes of further progress and prosperity to Bahrain. His Majesty the King welcomed the Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister and requested him to convey his greetings to the Saudi monarch and Crown Prince, as well as his wishes of abundant health and wellness to King Salman and of further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Saudi people. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep-rooted, solid Bahraini-Saudi relations and in the steady progress of bilateral cooperation in all fields, commending the leading role played by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman in serving issues of the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries. His Majesty also praised the dedicated efforts exerted by the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to strengthen bilateral brotherly relations and bolster joint cooperation to serve the interests of the two brotherly countries. The Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to him. He also expressed pride in the efforts being exerted by His Majesty the King to strengthen the fraternal Bahraini-Saudi relations.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, including an invitation to attend a joint summit between the GCC leaders, Jordanian monarch, Egyptian president, Iraqi prime minister, and the U.S. president, which will be hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia next month. The letter was handed over to His Majesty the King by Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, during a meeting with His Majesty at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation, praising the solid, historical, fraternal relation between the two brotherly countries and peoples. His Majesty also lauded continuous cooperation and coordination at all levels. His Majesty commended the efforts of the Saudi monarch to further strengthen the Bahraini-Saudi relations and develop joint Gulf work. His Majesty also lauded his efforts to deepen relations and cooperation between brotherly peoples as well as promote security, stability and peace in the region. His Majesty the King wished upcoming summit success in achieving its goals of preserving regional security and stability, protecting the interests of brotherly countries, serving Arab issues and boosting strategic relations with the USA. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal met with the Russian businesswoman delegation. The meeting discussed bilateral relations and highlighted the economic, commercial and parliamentary cooperation. Zainal praised Bahrain-Russia relations under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the Russian President. She stressed the importance of cooperation in various fields. The speaker hailed the cooperation between the Bahrain Business Women Association and Business Women in Russia to serve common interests. Zainal highlighted bilateral trade relations in the commercial, industrial, investment and energy sectors. The Russian delegation praised Bahrain's economic position on an international level as a strategic financial hub. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh also received the Russian Businesswoman delegation. As Saleh hailed the efforts of Bahraini businesswomen and their keenness on building economic and investment partnerships with business people and investors in brotherly and friendly countries. He affirmed that their contributions to enhancing the national economy reflect the advanced level that Bahraini women have reached and the support they receive from His Majesty the King, as well as the interest and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown. Prince and Prime Minister. As Saleh expressed appreciation for the role of the Supreme Council for Women, SCW, led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the CSW. He asserted that the development and growth that Bahraini-Russian relations witness translates the keenness of their two leaderships to consolidate ties and bolster cooperation and coordination in economic, touristic, investment and educational fields. The second meeting of the Political Coordination Committee of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Saudi Crown, uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, was held. The meeting was held under the co-chairmanship of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, his Saudi counterpart, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan. Han Al Saud, with the participation of members of the committee's work team from both sides. His Highness Prince Faisal expressed appreciation and gratitude for being received by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and for the directives he received from His Majesty on strengthening brotherly relations and the means to develop them in various fields to serve common interests. His Highness expressed appreciation for the level of joint cooperation and coordination at the political level between the two brotherly countries, hailing the results that were achieved through the work of the Political Coordination Committee team. For his part, Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani expressed pride in holding the meeting, which comes as a continuation of the efforts of the Council, which is a proceeding to achieve the goals and directives of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for all that would strengthen and support the two countries' well-established brotherly relations. 
Ezeyani added that the Political Coordination Committee is keen to derive its efforts and pillars of the coordination work from the vision and directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, noting that the committee is working with the rest of the Council's committees to enhance the cooperation and integration in the fields of political coordination between the two countries to achieve the aspirations and directives of their Royal Highnesses. He said that this meeting reviews and follows up on the initiatives of the committee and discussions of ways to achieve them to increase the pace of political coordination between the two countries towards regional and international issues and challenges, unify common positions in international forums, exchange experiences and diplomatic training. The two sides reviewed the initiatives and recommendations of the committee and the mechanisms for their implementation after approval by the Council. They also reviewed ways to support and strengthen bilateral political relations, especially in the field of political consultation and joint coordination in international forums, consular affairs and diplomatic training. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zaid Zayani, received a delegation of businesswomen from Russia. The minister praised the influential role of women in the economic and developmental sector in general. He also hailed the depth of Bahraini-Russian relations, noting the great efforts made by the two governments to strengthen their relations and raise the terms of commerce and exchange of experiences between them. Azayani noted the importance of the steps taken by the public and private sectors in both countries to strengthen and develop relations at all levels to serve and benefit the people of both countries. He stressed the importance of mutual visits and joint projects between the public and private sectors in both countries, which contribute significantly to deepening and developing economic relations. The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim bin Hassan al Hawad, paid an inspection visit to Al Fatih Highway Development Project. Al Fatih al Hawad affirmed that Bahrain attaches great importance to infrastructure development projects in line with urban investment development, in accordance with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister directed to the need to maintain the pace of performance in the project to ensure its completion according to the set time plan while focusing on not affecting traffic as much as possible during the construction process. He also pointed out that the ministry had recently started a concrete pouring for the U-turn bridge located at the entrance to Al Fatih Corniche, an excavation and preparation for the start of the tunnel construction at the intersection of Al Fatih Center. Al Hawad added that the ministry has completed the construction of all the foundation and columns of the upper bridge for the U-turn with a completion rate of 39% and is scheduled to open to traffic in the last quarter of this year. The ministry called on Al Fatih Highway users to cooperate and abide by the warning and guiding traffic signs at the work site. Customs President Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa has been re elected uncontested as President of the World Customs Organization WCO Council for a third exceptional term 2022 2023 in an unprecedented move. The WCO system allows the election of the WCO Council President for a one year term with the possibility of re election for a second one year term. In certain exceptional cases, the board can also also re-elect the incumbent president for a third one-year term. WCO council member countries endorsed the re-election of Sheikh Ahmed in recognition of his efficient management during the pandemic, which enabled the Brussels-based organization to continue its work without disrupting its projects and programs. In a statement on the occasion, Sheikh Ahmed extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Thank you.